Hello everyone, just Gorn here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video and today we are taking a quick look at some common wombat exhibits. And the first one we'll be looking at today is Zoo Duisburg and there was some construction taking place so we can't get real up close to this fence but there is a, a lovely large exhibit over here which I think they can also let wallaby inside of if they so want to because the exhibit next to it has a wallaby but over here we can see the lovely wombat right there. This was my first time ever seeing wombat and I was very excited to rub it in Eben's face. <laughs> but yeah, mostly just because it's such an awesome animal. And yeah, it's really cool to see. And yeah, you can see that you got burrows all around. So some they've dug themselves, some that they've been placed by the zoo inside of like logs and stuff. And here you can see the construction work taking place around the Australia house over here. But it was still accessible. And over here we've got a second yard, which also has a sign for the wombat. Um, but this is also an exhibit for the koala. They can be put outside here if the zoo so wishes. And uh, also there is, is a space for the echidna as well. So yeah, quite a mixed enclosure. I don't think the, all those animals will be inside of there at the same time. Probably mix and match them depending on uh, what's required at the moment. And then out here is another yard for the wombat as can be seen by all of those burrows. And I guess also koala uh, judging by all the climbing frames and the fact that this is connected to the backstage or to the indoor air house of the koala as well. But yeah, you can see the keeper was currently busy. Um, so there's a coat, there's a wheelbarrow and some other stuff. But yeah, an absolutely uh, huge burrow because wombats are actually quite big contrary to what you may think. They're actually a whole lot bigger than I personally thought uh, <laughs> when I was building for them in Key Park for the first time. So yeah. A really cool exhibit, but uh, we, it is time that we move on to the next zoo. It's just a small one. It is Best Zoo. And it's not as big as the other one we just saw, but it's still quite a decent enclosure. They have quite a lot of space in here. Um, but yeah, it's quite straight. It's quite simple, but that's Best Zoo for you. I think by the time their new entrance will open you'll be able to walk on the other side of this as well and actually we have a look into their backstage so you might actually be able to see them for once because i've never seen the wombat here um but yeah i like the enclosure it's very green which is a nice surprise actually a lot of wombat habitats still have a lot of greenery in them uh, as we'll also see in the next zoo paradisa and here we are entering the australia section which is a uh, walkabout for wallaby and such um but also, there is some other enclosures that you can look into. So here is the wallaby enclosure, but on the other side is what we're here for today, which is the wombat enclosure. And again, we can see lots of grass still, even though these are digging and burrowing animals, there is still the opportunity to have greenery in these enclosures. There's also some trees that are protected by some mesh. And yeah, there's some logs and rocks strewn about, making the habitat a bit more interesting. And then here you can reach it from the other side as well. And there's even an indoor viewing over here. So there's this little shack, which is quite dark inside still. And um, on the inside, you can actually see the wombat uh, doing what it's probably going to be doing pretty much all day, which is just sitting in a hole, uh, sleeping while being away from the guests. But I still got a pretty good look at it which is uh, quite nice. Oh, I should mention also that uh, for both Best Zoo and Paradise over here, this is not the common wombat, which is the one that we have in Planet Zoo. These are both Tasmanian wombats. So pretty much the same thing, but still slightly different. And I uh, want to point that out just for that. But that is it for Paradise. And that is actually also where we're going to end off this video. Because yeah, these are all the wombat habitats I've seen. I will see for the foreseeable future. So... See you in the next episode. That's that that's it. Bye-bye.